What's up, everybody? I'm the Goju Ryu philosopher, and today we're going to take a look at the spectacular martial artist who was selected by Miyagi Chojun Sensei's students to take over instruction at his garden dojo in 1953 after he passed away. Miyazato Eiichi Sensei was one of the most acclaimed successors of Miyagi and helped to perpetuate the often ignored tradition of grappling in karate. Let's get into it. Miyazato Sensei was born in 1922, and like so many karateka, got his first introduction into martial arts through his father, who trained him on the makiwara and shiishi to develop his strength starting at age 13. In 1938, Miyazato was introduced to Miyagi Chojun Sensei and began his goju ryu education. At the same time, he began to study and practice judo under Itokazu Shoto Sensei. Both of these martial arts would become vital to him as he continued to study and train throughout the rest of his life. Miyazato Sensei studied continuously with Miyagi Sensei, with the exception of the period during the Second World War when Miyagi halted his teaching. In 1946, on Miyagi's recommendation, he joined the local police department where he served as the physical education instructor. At that time, Miyagi Sensei was teaching karate at the police academy, and Miyazato assisted with his Sensei's karate instruction while also teaching his judo. He also took on additional roles helping to teach at Miyagi's garden dojo. Miyazato Sensei also competed in Judo during this time, winning the All Okinawa Judo Championship at least once in the early 1950s. Miyazato Sensei would later reflect on the post-war period as being a somber and stressful time for karateka around the island. He describes Miyagi's training sessions as having been two to four hours long, with students free to come and go as need be, and a maximum of ten students present at any given time. Miyagi Sensei's house was in poor condition due to damage sustained by the war, and he wasn't making a profit from teaching. So Miyazato Sensei had the goal of raising donations to improve the quality of the training space. However, in 1953, Miyagi Chojun Sensei passed away, leading to a different question, one of successorship. Though Miyagi Chojun Sensei never named an official successor, Miyazato Eiichi Sensei was selected by Miyagi's family to serve as the instructor at the Garden Dojo. He also inherited Miyagi's Gi, Obi, and Hojo Undo equipment. In 1957, Miyazato built the Jundokan, a structure that comprised both his dojo and his house, and moved his teaching to that location. Miyazato Sensei continued to teach many karateka who had either begun training under Miyagi Sensei or started training shortly after the Goju Ryu founder's death, and remained in close contact with other students of Miyagi such as Higaseiko and Yagi Meitoku. Miyazato Sensei retired from the police force in 1972, but was continuously active in the Goju Ryu and Judo communities of Okinawa. He helped to establish the Okinawa Goju Ryu Karate Do Kyokai and served as the organization's president for several years. He also served as president of the Okinawa Judo Federation and was ranked at 7th Dan by the Judo Kodokan during his lifetime. He also received the rank of 10th Dan in Goju Ryu in 1988 and was commended by the Japanese Ministry of Education. Miyazato Sensei incorporated his Judo into the training program at the Jundokan, stating his belief that cross-training with other martial arts was of benefit to one's karate. Shortly before his passing in December 1999, Miyazato conducted an interview where he discussed the future of Goju Ryu, as well as some controversies surrounding the lineage of succession. This interview is an amazing source of information on the way that Goju Ryu had been taught by Miyagi Sensei, as well as about the ethos that Miyazato Sensei brought to his training in the Jundokan. Miyazato also spoke positively about sparring, mentioning that practicing in protective gear would help students further improve their technique. When Miyazato Eiichi Sensei passed away, he was posthumously promoted to 8th Dan in Judo by the Kodokan, and mourned by the international Goju Ryu community that he had helped to build. Thanks for watching this episode of History of Goju Ryu. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, I recommend giving them a watch. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment telling me who you'd like to see me cover next. If you'd like to see the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series as it comes out, subscribe and hit the notification bell, which will let you know when I upload new videos. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and go out there and cross-train.